What's going on guys, Fritz here, and I got another pretty cool tutorial for you all today. Um, basically, I've seen this used in actually quite a few edits. Uh, one of the ones I really noticed was uh, Soaring in Space, um, the dual Tosh thingy. So this is it, pretty much. Uh, there's two ways you can use it. There's a transition, and there is a, a like kind of another creative thing. So uh, you can see here how it kind of burns through the screen and switches to the next edit, and it's kind of cool. I don't know. Um... There's ways you can change the color, and um, yeah, it's it's kind. I don't know. Uh, it's it's. The, my, I don't use it necessarily for this, the transition. I I use it more for this ending. So I'm just gonna hit play, and you can see what I mean. So you see there, he shoots, and then he goes, and then I just twixtered it because I didn't know what else to do, and then it goes to twixter, and you can see how it kind of burns out and slowly zooms in. And it's just a really nice, smooth way to end and edit. I don't know. I find it really enjoyable. But I'll show you both. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, not hard at all. So um, if you guys have any questions at all, um, please leave a comment down below. And also, if you know an answer to one of the questions down below, answer it for me, please. Thank you. All right, so here we go. So we got our clip here. It's just a thing, and then it goes to this thing. So we're going to look up in our effects and presets, CC Burn Film, and it's under Stylized. Drop it in there. And you can see here already, if you just change the burn, you can see it happen. And one thing you can do to kind of make it more, I don't know, original, or I guess, is change the random seed so that there's a whole bunch of different ones. So um, we will do 1337 because we are elite. Can you do 1337? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's our seed. And what we're going to do is keyframe it at zero on the top clip. So we're on the top clip right now. Move over and then keyframe it at 100. And you can see it does the transition. And it's pretty straightforward. Also, of course, highlight the keyframes. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. And there you go. You do a ramp preview, and it's pretty, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool transition. All right, so now we got one down here. This is going to be another one. So this is how to end and edit. So um, what you're going to want to do is twixter it, just because it kind of makes it look nicer. So I'm going to find a spot. And also, uh, one thing I've noticed in the comments is um, people saying that they put twixter and their clips don't work. You have to do the twixter first. You can't do all your effects and then put twixter. Um, you see here, if I was to put on a bunch of effects, so... Um, let me put on, a, I'll, I'll put on any effect in the planet Earth, brightness and contrast. So you can see how, here how Twixter is on top of brightness and contrast. If you have it the other way around, you're not going to see your brightness and contrast. You have to have Twixter on top at all times, uh, which is why you always do your syncing and stuff first. So 59.94 for frame rate, motion sensitivity to 100. We're just going to keyframe at 100, go over a couple frames, and we're going to go to... Two, I guess. I meant to three, but I guess we wanted two. So I keyframed that, and now what we want to do is actually add the effect on. So we got the shot. Where does he do the thing? All right, so right here, CC burn, and uh, this one's pretty easy too. So just keyframe burn. Um, we'll do a different seed this time. We will do whatever that is. Okay, I guess we're doing five thousand. So um, we are going to, we've got it keyframed already at zero. Now we're going to go over to the end where, we, where it ends and bring the amount up all the way. So there we go. So we hit you on our keyboard, highlight, key, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. There we go. So there we go. So now what, one thing that makes it look a little bit more stylish, I find, is um, if you actually scale and kind of rotate it up. So here, um, keyframe the scale. So just sort of around the same area where the film burn starts. Um, then go over to where the film burn ends and bring it to about 100 and 113 works. It's not too much, but it's like not a lot where it's like, you know, bad. So um, now we're going to do our rotation because just a little bit of rotation makes it look really nice too. So hit R on your keyboard. Um, that'll bring up rotation. And if Or what you can do is uh, just hit transform. And then there's scale, rotation, everything. So we're going to keyframe rotation. Go over. Sort of guesstimate. You don't have to be perfect. Um, and bring the rotation. I'm not too far. So you can see here. Um, I'll show you what not to do. So see here how the line is over. Like it's going through the corner. You don't want that. You want it to be like that. So not over the corner completely. Uh, but not touching it. So like three is perfect. Or three. 
3.8943. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so we got all that down pat. Now we're going to move out and watch it. So, oh, keyframe. You got to do the uh, keyframe assistant, easy ease, because if you don't easy ease, it's not going to look good because it just it's so much smoother. So that's it. That, that's the, that's my tut for, for today. So you can see here he does the thing, and then it's going to go to Twixter mode. Right here, it's gonna scope and he's gonna shoot that guy. Look at his look at his clan tag. What a coincidence. Hmm. That's the same number as we used for our seed. Well, shoot me and call me Sally. So here we go, it's going to go into Twixter and then ever so slowly it's gonna it's not gonna be this slow typically, it's just cause it's doing a it's it's like doing a RAM preview looking thing. And you see there how the screen is sorta of slowly uh slanting in and it's just it's a really nice way to end an edit so i hope you guys enjoyed um leave a comment down below if you have any questions or you want to request some sort of tutorial also post your edits as a video response if you've watched my tutorials and you've used them in your edits because i want to see them i am fritz subscribe like do all that and i'm out see ya